Now we have access here, access to ABS sensor, the hole. Through this hole we're gonna lubricate it. We're gonna grease it till it's coming out. <laughs> Turn it around and grease it. Guys, this is Ford Explorer second generation. Often on Ford Explorers uh, wheel have gone bad just because of not adequate lubrication. Now I'm gonna show you how to make it last longer, almost forever. Uh, we're gonna grease this wheel head assembly and first I took off uh, the tire and now I'm going to take off this brake caliper. You take a 15 millimeter head and unscrew this bolt I see this one, this one I already unscrewed and it goes by hand now, here it is, now I'm going to unscrew this, this top one, it's like this, it's kind of tough place. You see this uh, brake hose on the way, so we bypass it and just unscrew this like this. First you gonna have to use the breaker bar cheater range with a big leverage because them, them bolts are pretty tough and they should be because they hold this big brake caliper not so big as uh, in a modern car but big enough for this Explorer so now I'm gonna get get this out oh it came it came out with the rotor oh shit it came out just like this. So now we gotta get this wire and tie it in order to not fall enough. Like this. And the router came out easily because I greased it here but you see grease already gone if you not grease it here before installing it's gonna be tough to uh, take it off the next time so now we got this <clears throat> we got an axis here but we gotta first we gotta take this off and this is eight this is eight millimeters like this like this and like this now I'm gonna use power cheat and this you can leave it so now we have access here access to ABS sensor the hole through this hole we're gonna lubricate it so we're gonna get some tool for this now, stay tuned. Took this hexagon wrench. Previously I already greased it, you see with WD-40. Up. And it's on. It's unscrewed.
and we go into lubricate it now guys you see this bolt and we take this take this out we took this sensor out you see this grease in there, there some grease and some grease left but uh, it's never enough grease right so we're gonna grease it and make it good we're gonna grease it till it coming out coming out like this press it press more grease here and this uh, grease that left can go here like this So the rotor will not stuck when we're gonna pull it off next time like this. Just don't grease them treads. How it was here like this. Never too much grease. When the hub is gonna get hot, grease gonna place, you gonna find the place to go. And you brake wheel hub assembly gonna last almost forever. And guys, I almost forgot. When you're gonna get installed your rotor back. You gotta just install it first the brake caliper and you want to to screw this couple of bolts like this You know why? Because uh, now you want to pay, put your brake caliper on, so the rotor not fall off, not falling off. You see? I'm gonna get it back on place like this, and not to mess your brake pads get it on the road or like wiggle it but I anyway can do it for this I'm going to unscrew this bolt top bolt and I'm going to fill out I don't want to. So we do like this. Kind of mess. Now we can go. We can do like this. Now we can just disassemble it like this. Take this with braid part this uh, in other place we're going to install separately you see first I install this brake pads out very important is to 
tighten them. So I'm going to tighten it like this. And this. And this like this. Now it's tight. So putting the brick pads back there, back in place. Can grease them things. These places. And then put a brake caliper on this place, but first unscrew the second. I'm gonna grease these fingers. So we take it off, the second one, and grease it like this with this blue mobile high temperature lubricant. You see. We did like this. Now I'm going to put it back here. So this brake pad's gonna go. Good. You see the put this on and we go. So by hand I tightened with this. Then tighten it with the ratchet like this. Like this. So I maintain the brakes and the wheel hub. Now I can uh, put my tire back. Subscribe to our channel, press thumbs up, write your comments down below. Bye-bye.